You know what? It's kind of a good thing that the Indianapolis Colts end up pulling off that comeback because I would have been livid. I would literally have been jumping on top of this damn TV, Xbox. <laughs> I would have been going crazy if the Giants pulled off that dub. But um, it's, it's official, y'all. The Miami Dolphins are officially eliminated from the playoffs. You know what? I've been literally defending Adam Gaze and Ryan Tannehill for the past four seasons, man. But, look, I, I, I've been putting it to you like this. They, they pushing the death penalty on them right now. They literally pushing the death penalty. Uh, Ryan Tannehill literally just sealed his fate throwing that damn dumbass pick. I'm not going to defend him on that pick. That was a dumbass pick right there. That that sealed the deal for us. That literally, that like... When there was when there was a question mark in the air about Ryan Tannehill as far as him being our starting quarterback next year, that pick right there, making him that right there just sealed sealed the deal right there. That he will not be our quarterback next year. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I I just don't see it. I literally just don't see it. You should have seen Stephen Ross's face, Dan Marino face, Tannenbaum. I don't know, cause I I I really don't see, still don't see the reason to this day why Tannenbaum is still sitting there, as far as whatever the hell he is, because I still I don't I still to this day, like I said, I don't know what his what his job is in particular when they when he signed on, like everybody was everybody was confused, everybody was confused, but um yeah, the, the, Adam Gaze and Ryan Tannehill literally just just I just think they just sealed their fate literally. Like, how do you lose to the Jags? Lose to the Jags. We are six and one at home. We end up losing this game seventeen to seven to the Jacksonville Jaguars with Cody Kessler and Blake Bortles. Really, Cody Kessler and Blake Bortles. And to be honest, I felt like we were playing somewhat of a good game, even though it was a boring ass game. To be honest with you, like nobody was moving the football as far as offensively. I felt like we did a decent job stopping the run. I take that back. I, I, I'm sorry. I take that back. Any offensive line that has Eric Flowers on it, like I, I, I feel bad for the running back. Like I can't, I can't even give credit to the defense. To be honest with you, they were as far as us stopping the run. I cannot give no credit, and they still got over 100 yards rushing. What they have? Carlos had, had Carlos High had 47 yards. Leonard Fournette had 43. Blake Bortles had 25. So they had well over 100 yards. But yeah, as far as, like we're, I, I, I see it already. Dolphins end of the season, we're cleaning house. Like I'm just gonna give you an insight of what I'm thinking right now because I was gonna make a video of it. But looking at it, I tried to defend, I defend the Matt Burke too. He gone. I think Tanner Bomb's gonna be gone. I, I I think I think I feel like he should be gone, but. Judging by him sitting next to Steven Ross today, I'm not too sure, but he got to go. I like Chris Greer as our general manager. He's doing an excellent job picking talent. He, I, I want him to stay. I believe they're just going to clean house. They're going to keep Adam Gaze, and they just and then whoever they bring in as far as, yeah, he just has to bring, just has to bring in a brand new personnel. Dan Rizzi can stay. Everybody else got to go. Literally, they got to go. Cause like this is this is ridiculous. I don't even think Tannehill gonna be staying after what I saw today. I'm just being real. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was just that was just that was just terrible, man. That was just literally terrible. But like I told you before, the Miami Dolphins be put in a situation where they can all they have to do is win out the rest of the seat, win, win their games, and they don't do it. Luck, well, unfortunately, the Indianapolis Colts end up pulling off the dub, but. Hey, we didn't do what we were supposed to do. The Giants was close. They was about to pull off that dub. So if they would have pulled it off, then what? Like I said, we ain't take care of business. That's how it is. Let's move on. But those that's 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 a little that's a little brief little how how I'm thinking as far as as far as the rest of this, this how the offseason gonna start for us. But I'm pissed, man. I, I'm li I'm literally pissed. I'm so fucking pissed, man. Like, the, the, like, that is just pitiful right there. Losing the fucking Jags to the fucking Jags. Excuse my language, but I'm just that pissed about it. Losing to the Jags. With Cody Kessler and Blake Bortles. Them two bums. We got the Bills next week. You know what it is. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. 
This is a great one, Devore. I'm up out of here.